Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes of Encouragement. Today we're going to talk about whether or not God promises that we will have peace in this life. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Guys, if this is your first time here, I just want to personally welcome you to the Homegrown Ministries YouTube channel. I'm DJ, and on this channel, I strive to provide you with biblical wisdom and encouragement to strengthen your walk of faith. Now, I don't get to post as often as I would like because I do have two kids, a wife, and a full-time job. So if you like what you see here and you don't want to miss any content in the future, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It also helps out the channel a great deal, and I really, truly appreciate your support. Now, let's talk about what Jesus says about happiness. So in John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus says this, I've told you this so that you will have peace by being united to me. The world will make you suffer, but be brave. I have defeated the world. So we are not promised happiness by God, but we are promised peace. Why is that so important? One, Jesus says the world will make you suffer. Not the world might make you suffer, or the world may make you suffer, or it might happen that the world makes you suffer. Jesus says the world will make you suffer. But although the world will make us suffer, point number two is that we will have peace through our union with Jesus Christ. Why do we have peace? Why do we get peace through our union with Jesus Christ? We get that peace because point number three, Jesus has overcome or has defeated the world. So no matter how big your problem might seem, no matter how much you are suffering, know that God is greater than the pain and suffering you are experiencing right now. And know that one day when you are united with him in heaven, there will be no pain, there will be no suffering, there will be no sadness because you are united with Christ. And that is the hope that we as Christians can rely on every single day. So Christians, be encouraged and be brave because your Savior, your Lord, has defeated the world. So to recap, God does not promise happiness, but peace if our hope is within Jesus Christ. As Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 12, verse 12, let your hope keep you joyful. Be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. Your hope that you have in the union with Jesus Christ will bring about great joy and peace in your life. Lean on Him for that peace. If you are not happy with your life, pray to your Father in Heaven and He will give you peace due to the hope that you have in your union with His Son, Jesus Christ. Guys, if you are suffering today, if there are things that you are struggling with in the world today, if you need someone to pray for you, you don't have to go into details, but just let me know that you would like some prayer and I'll happily take some time out of my day to pray for you. Guys, this ends today's five minutes of encouragement. I hope you found value in it. And as always, please continue to be the salt to the earth, be the light to the world, and go encourage someone else today because the world desperately, desperately needs it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.